Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We're here in Uxbridge doing some test routes for you. So, the test centre in Uxbridge is on a, just a very small industrial estate. So you've just got to kind of like take your time coming out of here. There's a few little tricky bits. It's quite a, a nice test area, but there are a few little um, segments that can catch you out, especially just leaving the test centre. So there's just a roundabout coming up. We're going to go second exit right. So mirror, right door mirror, you can signal right. Now, as we come up here, we've got a red light in front of us. We're going to be turning right. So we go mirror, right door mirror, and go signal right. You've got this yellow box here. So you have to stop back here before the post office entrance. Yeah. Do not move forward onto this yellow box unless the light is green. There's a couple of spots like that in and around Uxbridge, but be really careful on those yellow boxes. We're just going to take you around this route and give you a little look at what it's like. So here we go, we're going to go right at the traffic lights, we'll go mirror, right door mirror, signaling right. Now just remember on your driving test, the examiner is not looking to fail you. They're looking to observe you drive safely. So one of the most important things is to get a grip of your nerves, make yourself feel comfortable in the area where you're taking your test. That's why these videos help. We also have a full set of Uxbridge driving test routes for SatNav available on our website. So you can download those and practice them. The better you know the area, the calmer you're going to be. That advanced knowledge, local knowledge, will just help you in making the right decisions about which lanes to be in when you're approaching busy junctions. Yeah. So as we come along here, just looking down the road, paying attention to everything that's going on. Watching our speed, it's a 30 mile an hour zone. In, in Uxbridge, there's countless changes of speed. Um, so really, really pay attention. We're gonna be taking the first exit left at this roundabout. So we're gonna go mirror, left door mirror, we're gonna signal left, and we've got two lanes there, so we can obviously use the left-hand lane. Slow down for that, checking nothing's coming, and off we go. Come here, we're just going to go ahead here. We can see the arrow says we can go ahead from the left hand lane, but in a moment we're going to be turning right at the next junction. So we could have actually arrived here in the right hand lane, but we're going to, as we go through, we're going to check in my mirrors and see my surrounding. Yeah, all uh, right. If you knew where you were going to go, could be in the right hand lane so I'm going to check my mirrors I'm going to signal right I'm just going to move into that right hand lane got a green light there in front of me so I'm just going to carry on through remember when you're driving test the examiner will not tell you what lane to be in because the choice of lanes is a real safety decision um, but they'll be happy to tell you over again where you're going. So if you're not sure and you can see the situation ahead, just ask the examiner. Ask them lots of questions is my um, approach on it. Yeah, because sometimes, now just watch these sharp humpback bridge, they're just going to come up over there, not too fast, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, my approach on it is just, you know, ask the, the examiner. If you're in any doubt or if you know where you are and you want to know where he wants you to take you, you know, so you might be approaching a roundabout and you know that it's either going to be, need to be the left or right hand lane, you know, ask them. So change of speed there, checking our rear view mirror, picking our speed up. Yeah, ask them, you know, because you might be approaching a roundabout and you might say, where are we going to go at the roundabout? And they say, oh, we're going to take the third exit right. You then know that you need to be in the right hand lane. But don't get to the road and say, can you tell me which lane to be in? Because they're not going to tell you. Just watching those little, few little potholes there. If we can. They're everywhere. There's another one by the looks of it. So you see we're on this 40 mile an hour stretch at the moment. back to 30 miles an hour so we can slow ourselves down checking our rear view mirror as we did that and we're going to be taking the second exit right on this roundabout it's a little mini roundabout so we're going to go mirror right door mirror I'm going to signal right just so people know where I'm going to go Obviously got a situation in front of us here, so we're just going to wait, no problem, just stop somewhere comfortable. I've chosen to stop just before this person's driveway, just in case they want to come out. No point being bumper to bumper with the car in front, we're not going anywhere, yeah? And that's what makes you a good driver, is really having that kind of awareness about, you know, not just driving for yourself, but driving for the benefit of everybody else, yeah? Being calm, relaxed, very aware, yeah. So zebra crossing there, just going to make sure no pedestrians. And then when we get to this, we've got another roundabout coming up, we're going to take the second exit right on this roundabout. So we're going to go mirror, right door mirror, signal right. I've already positioned myself to the right hand side. Driving round the mini roundabout, not over it. Bit narrow there, just being cautious. And then just keeping our eyes peeled for any other signs to tell us what's going on change of speed we're still in 30 zone currently see there we've got bend in the road possibly horses around here and there we go 40 mile an hour zone so checking what's happening behind us picking our speed up It's a nice flat bit of road, I'm at 40 miles an hour, so I'm in fifth gear now. We're going to take this next road on the left, so mirror, left or mirror, and signal left. As we enter this road, it drops down to 30. This road we're going to turn right so we're going mirror right door mirror we're going to signal right
Now we haven't seen any change of speed signs, so we're still in that 30 zone. Mini roundabout there. Just going to go ahead, so we're checking, make sure it's safe. Over we go. Very straight one there. No other traffic around me, so I didn't indicate there. But the road was very straight. Got priority junction there. Traffic calming measure. Lots of parked cars along here, so if it was busy, just take your time. Looking far down the road so you can see what's going on. When we get to the end of this section of road, we're going to turn left. So as we're approaching the end of the road, you can check our centre mirror, our left door mirror. We're going to signal left and once we get past that road there. see down the road so there's nothing coming. As I enter this one I can see the 40 mile an hour speed signs. A few potholes on this section of road, it's not very nice. Just trying to avoid them a little bit. Now the roundabout here we're taking the third exit right. So we're coming up, we're going mirror, right door mirror, I'm going to signal right. See as we approach it, we're going to be into the right hand lane, entering the roundabout in the right hand lane. Coming around, there's the first exit. As we go past the second exit, we're going to check our left door mirror, we're going to signal left, and we're just moving back to the left hand side. Got a 50 mile an hour speed change, so checking what's happening behind us, and off we go. And just comfortably back into fifth gear. What we're doing now is really paying attention. We're like looking out and see if there's any change of speed. And there we go, 40 miles an hour. So we're just coming off the gas nice and early, checking what's happening behind us. Just let the car slow down naturally almost to 40 miles an hour. Hardly had to use the brakes because we'd seen it nice and early. We're going to take the next road on the right. So as we come along here, I'm going to go mirror, right door mirror, get a signal right. Now, back into residential area, big potholes there. Just following the road round here, we're going to take this next road, it's just following it round to the right. Lots of speed bumps here, so just taking your time. Looking at the road ahead. It's funny because on the sat nav it looks like it might be a junction, but we can see there's a chevron there, so from the distance, even then, we still knew it was going to bend round to the right. We've got a priority controlled section there, so it's our priority. Nothing's coming at the moment anyway. But through we go.
And as we come up here, we're going to go left at this mini roundabout. So you're going to mirror, left door mirror, you go signal left. Checking nothing's coming. And then we're going to go right on this mini roundabout. So mirror, right door mirror, you go signal right. Not mini roundabout, actual roundabout. Checking your left door mirror, signaling left off because it is a roundabout. Yeah. So I do hope you find these helpful, yeah? And and also I hope you get a sense of the pace, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead on this roundabout. I'm going to go mirror, left door mirror, and I'm going to signal left so everybody knows where I'm going. And I don't particularly know Alcaspitch, I'm here, I'm just using the sat-nav routes to take me around here. But obviously paying attention, seeing what's going on, and which is what you need to be doing when you're learning to drive and on your driving test. Yeah, we're going to take the the first exit left on this roundabout and there's a second it's like a double mini roundabout so we're going to signal left yeah left there left here still in a 30 mile an hour zone and then we go we've got sign there change to 40 checking what's happening behind us and pick our speed up Now we've got national speed limit, yeah, so checking again what's happening behind us. We're going to speed up once more, watching out for a few of these potholes if we can. It's like Russian roulette with potholes at the moment. Bit of roadkill there, so it was a deer, so just be careful something like that. It's, you know, it's a big size animal, if you hit it you're going to damage something in your car. Yeah, even when it's dead and lying in the road like that, yeah. So really looking out for when that speed is going to change again. As we come around the corner here, it drops to 30. Check what's happening behind us, slowing down. We're taking the first exit left, oh no, second exit right on this roundabout. So mirror, right door mirror and signal right. Going round the mini roundabout, not driving over the top of it. some roadworks here so we're just going to come up to the lights it's a four-way control so may take a little bit and i'm just going to stop here roll got a green light so there we go i was just going to stop before that driveway um just out of you know being polite but so car on the bend so we're taking our time around it making sure it's nice and safe A green light through the bridge system here. Very steep little humpback bridge over the top. And then we're going to turn right here at the second set of lights. So mirror, right door mirror, you're going to signal right. And that's us. We're almost back at the test centre. There's the post office, Royal Mail next to us there. Come here, we're going to go first exit left. It's a mirror, left door mirror, signal left. Just 
nice and calmly around the industrial estate because you're almost at the end of your driving test. You don't want something to go wrong at this point. Um, hope you've really enjoyed this. Um, these, are, these routes are new to me. I quite like them actually. That seems like a nice place to take your driving test. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Do Please do like, subscribe and share. That really helps the, the channel. And if you found it really useful, there is a donation box link in our, in our description for this video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.